What's good, y'all? You dog back here again. Y'all know it's 2019. We in here to get it. Talk about a topic that really nobody's talking about. I mean, people hint at it, but nobody's really talked about. Now, who is the most evil character in One Piece? Now, for the longest time, and people still argue to this day, Celestial Dragons. First of all, that is a group of people. That's a group of people. And really, the Celestial Dragon, let me just put this out here. Let's get this argument out of the way, all right? The Celestial Dragons are a group of people, as I mentioned. We've seen individuals from the Celestial Dragons. It A lot of it has to do with nurture. There's an old thing, psychology, nature versus nurture. I say it's both. It's nature and nurture. But a lot of it is how they're raised, okay? And I'm not bringing excuses for full-grown adults, but when you're told, like, people bring up that you're a god or that you're special, you're above, and made to seem this kind of way. we seen with uh, Don Quixote, uh, homing, I believe, homing, he stepped away and took his family down. Now, it was a dumbass decision, but still, you know, and we also see, I forget the other, or homing might have been the one. Uh, that went down to Fishman Island. There was two members of the Don Quixote family that, that went down um, or got left in the Fishman Island, something like that, and he changed, and he became an ally to the Fishman, the Merman, and, and such. And uh, Joker, uh, Don Quixote, Do Flamingo, and Rosinante's father uh, as well. So we've seen celestial dragons be able to change or have an awakened mind. So keep that in mind. Now, individually, you, you look at people. I mean, you've had some people do some heinous stuff. Captain Kuro was was heinous. Uh, Arlong with his racist ass. Hordy Jones, pure racism for no reason. Just hate for no reason. Um, you know, you look at Caesar Clown and, and what he's done. You look at Joker and what he's done. He, people say evil. People look at Teach and look at Blackbeard and they see how devious he can be. But if you really sit back and think about it, and of course, Orochi, you see what he's doing in Wano if you're a Mongarita. But if you sit back and look at it, I've been saying that Kaido was the big villain for since Punk Hazard. All right. People focus on Joker. You you look at everything. Everything points that Kaido is the most evil person in the series of One Piece. Not any of the other Yonka. We know that Newgate, he had his problems, but he wasn't that bad. Shanks. He has his size, but he not that bad. Lin Lin has problems, but she not that bad. Uh, Sakazuki, if you look in the fleet, he's not that bad. You know what I'm saying? Teach. You got all these people, you can look at it, all have flaws. But Kaido on some straight evil status. Now, it's not just him individually, okay? You're looking at it like, well, what, what does Kaido all do? It's what he allows in his operation. You start with going back to Punk Hazard with Caesar Clown. Caesar Clown is clearly working under Kaido, making, you know, he's experimenting on children, gigantification, kidnap, experimenting on children. Just think about that. And you you had the uh, willing to let people die, with making weapons of mass destruction, poison weapons and such, which we've seen uh, manifest on Zoe with with what Jack did. You look at that, it's like, bro, Caesar's working under him, okay? Making sad, making smiles. We see the effect that they're having in Wano, but we're not done yet. Joker, donkey, heavenly demon, Don Quixote, do flamingo, heavenly yaksa. We saw all what he was doing. Now, here's the thing. He took over Dressrosa 10 years ago. Kaido took over Wano 20 years ago. So there, there's going on today. Working for Kaido, right? Brokering all the king of the underworld under Kaido. Shichibukai, who's protected under Kaido. He was more scared uh, of Kaido than losing his own Shichibukai in the, in the position with the Marines. He was willing to fight freaking Fu, Admiral Fujitori Isho. Willing to fight Former Admiral Aokiji Kuzan. But he didn't want to see. He didn't want that smoke. With hundred beasts. With the king of the beasts. With the world's strongest creature. He didn't want that smoke with him though. Think about that like that. So you have you have Joker. who Who's destroyed eight towns. Who's damn near ready to commit genocide on Dressrosa. List goes on and on. Selling weapons around the world. 
Now we get to Juana. People are starving out here. That That's near and dear to me. People are starving because of what? Pollution. Waste. For what? Weapons. Weapons. But wait, 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 let's back up because we're talking about weapons. Jack, I mentioned about him utilizing that weapon of mass destruction. You have a guy like Jack going through islands just wiping them all out. You have someone like King and Queen sadistically torturing people. This, this is what we, we have out here. Now, we've seen Kid and others do some stuff. Kid had him up on like a crucifix. Queen is having these people on pure torture status. For the hell of it. King looks at you to be even worse. You see what they've done with feeding killer with a smile. We see, we see the dirt that's being done. But Jack is subservient to Kaido. He, he's kind of seemingly subservient to his brothers. You look at the leadership. It all goes back to it. The island, yeah. Yeah, the big mom pirates with the enraged army. Yeah, they did that. But not on this level. Not on this level. They out here just destroying. Dog. Will kill an entire nation to find one man. Overkill. Fight five days. He's like, I'm done with this. I don't blame Jack. It's like, I'm done with this. This is war. Unleash, unleash holy hell with the with the gas weapons. Kaido, this is what Kaido's crew do. This is what the, this is what the beast pirates do. Took over Wano. Boiled Odin alive, supposedly. Even Joker, I mean, he did was having people cut get cut down, but boiling people, torturing for answers, torturing breaking people's wills, torturing them, throwing them in a, in a private prison? Like, damn. Then you got Shogun Orochi, right? You got Orochi here uh, feeding the poor because they don't have it because of what, you know, the smile factory as well as just the weapons factories, what they've done and polluted the water and pretty much quarantined off the food for a select few. Give these people smile. It's smile. Oh, it, it, it's just terrible. And it just the, the amount of being a complete dick that Orochi is comprehensively. Oh, just painted this out well. And he's serving under Kaido. This dude, Kaido, does not give a damn. He's running an evil organization. Forget the Vin Smokes and Jeremy Double Six. Forget the Marines. Forget even Celestial Dragons. Kaido gotta go. He gotta die. I mean, I've been said that back early in like Dress Rosa and like, and then Chapter 795 drop. I said Luffy gonna have to probably kill him. He, good. I don't see how they're gonna get out of here without him being killed. Like, dog, Kaido, what he's doing is just, this junk is just heinous. And see, other people, you can you can give excuses or you could be like, ah, you could see reasoning. No. No. There, there is no reason with Kaido. And Odo's not even trying to play it up like there's a reason with Kaido. Kyle just does it, just cause. And he knows what he's doing. He's producing war across the globe. The fact that the revolution he's had, revolutionaries had to personally step in on Dress Rosa to shut down the weapon supply. Dog, getting involved with Cypherpole Asia Zero for weapons. Unexpected one to like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts. Tell me your thoughts on Kaido. Tell me, you know, this Kaido running like a pure warlord beyond even just a pirate. They, they it's bad, bro. It's really bad. All right, y'all. Have a beautiful day, beautiful night. Peace. And we'll see what else Oda brings to the table because I'm pretty sure we've only got the introductory stuff.